actually, I'm excited about Thunderbolt because I just bought a new MacBook Pro and it has Thunderbolt, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys have coming out. It looks pretty impressive. I mean, you can't argue with those numbers, so I, I can't wait to see it in action in the edit suite. To be able to edit in the field with a laptop is... I, I mean, I'll buy two tomorrow. I love the fact that you can daisy chain it. I'm just very excited to see what uh, GTEC has in that regard. Thunderbolt is the direction I'm going in. I love GTEC Drive, so I'm looking forward to what GTEC brings to the market. Hey everybody, I'm Stuart Braslin. and I'm here at NAB in Las Vegas. Right now I'm at the GTEC booth with Pete. Now Pete, all this buzz going on about the Thunderbolt, tell me the deal. The deal is, Thunderbolt is an interface technology that was developed by Intel and brought to market by Apple. It's on their new MacBook Pro computers. It's essentially a really fast interface that lets you connect peripherals to the Mac. And essentially it takes the PCIe bus out of the computer and brings it outside. So we can connect with speeds that are typically you'd only see on desktop computers. So this brings some real processing power now to the laptops. As a matter of fact, we're showing a demo here. It's an Intel reference board with a Thunderbolt card and an Atto R680 RAID controller. And what we're doing is we're hooking up to one of our G-Speed ES Pros with a mini SAS connection. We're getting over 500 megabytes a second through Thunderbolt on this, and it's not even optimized. So who would want to use Thunderbolt? Who does it make the most sense for? Oh my god, you guys, filmmakers. Filmmakers love this kind of stuff because they're out there processing files, and this can take a long time when you're limited to the bandwidth of FireWire 800. Now we have over 10 times, 12 times the bandwidth to get to storage and other devices that really makes all of this stuff faster. But where it really makes sense is how our partners are integrating with, with Thunderbolt as well. Because not only is there a data channel that can go up to this amazing speed, but there's a video channel as well. So we should really go talk to our partners and see what they're up to. All right, let's go. How do you anticipate using Thunderbolt? Well, you know, right now we've got a Thunderbolt product that we've announced. It is a basic capture card, which is much like our DeckLink HD Extreme 3D. It's SDI component and HDMI. Hooks up via Thunderbolt to be able to hook up to the laptop to do video input and output to a Thunderbolt laptop. How do you plan on using Thunderbolt? Well, first and foremost, Thunderbolt brings fantastic interconnect to laptop editing. MXO2, it's an I.O. device. Now, professional editors can use the MXO2 in conjunction with a Thunderbolt-enabled laptop, which is great. We can get massive throughput in and out and then out for monitoring to our devices. We worked very closely with Intel and Thunderbolt for the last two years with our 64-bit editing. For example, on Macs, they, we use Grand Central Dispatch technology. Thunderbolt just works. So when companies like GTEC introduce Thunderbolt drives, it's, it's a no-brainer. You just plug in the drives and you're playing four, five, six streams uncompressed, no problem. We're showing Thunderbolt technology here at the show in sort of next-gen products, taking an HDSDI feed from a camera live through our development platform into a MacBook Pro. We're showing some products that uh, will be coming soon, and we're looking forward to uh, developing more products around that exciting technology. Wow, Pete, I just came from visiting the partners, and so much stuff going on with the Thunderbolt. Yeah, it's amazing. It, it really is cool what they're doing to bring professional video I.O. and data on that one Thunderbolt port, so it is exciting stuff. And stay tuned because later this year, products from GTEC with Thunderbolt on them. If you want to see more from GTEC and Thunderbolt, go to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. I'll see you guys later.